Respect. Safety. Belonging. They are all words we, as developing educators, strive to paint our classrooms with. As role models for our society's children, we advocate for safe schools, inclusive schools, in all we do. But are we creating a truly safe, inclusive space for all of our students? Even if we know the facts, even if we say we strive to embrace diversity, do we practice what we preach? And what are our tangible actions? Diversity can take many shapes. Today, we are here to help you better create an inclusive school environment by enlightening you on an often overlooked dimension, the issues of LGBTQ in education. The acronym stands for Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender, and Questioning. Holding awareness of this issue is important, but we want to take it a step farther and offer you a tangible, manageable, and exciting way to help create a classroom of true respect, safety, and belonging. GLSEN, the Gay, Lesbian, Straight Education no Network, more commonly referred to as GLSEN, works every day toward this mission. Founded in 1990, GLSEN is the leading national education organization focused on ensuring safe schools for all students. Their mission statement reads, the Gay, Lesbian, and Straight Education Network strives to assure that each member of every school community is valued and respected regardless of sexual orientation or gender identity or gender expression. As you can see from their national website, GLSEN works in many ways to not only educate, but offer opportunities to take action. Their purpose reads, GLSEN is dedicated to designing programs and resources that are inclusive and celebratory of diversity and sensitive to the role of power and privilege in society. And GLSEN doesn't just reach LGBTQ students, but offers support for LGBTQ faculty and other individuals in their local school environment. Here's a further explanation from the director. So it all sounds great in theory, but what does GLSEN actually do? It convinces education leaders and policymakers, those with the most power, to take action and address anti-LGBTQ behavior and bias in our schools. It protects students by increasing safety in our schools. It empowers principals to make their schools safe places to learn. And it builds the skills of educators to up the respect factor. There are free web resources, opportunities to take legal action, a GLSEN blog to communicate with other teachers about issues, and a variety of opportunities for involvement. For example, GLSEN chapters all over the country have participated in the Think Before You Act campaign, established nationally recognized gay-straight alliance programs, 
and promoted Alley Week, which gives the whole student body a chance to voice their support against anti-LGBTQ language and harassment. On their website, Glisten states that four out of five LGBTQ students experience verbal, physical, and sexual harassment frequently or often in their schools. 65% of America's students report they have experiences bullying, with the most common reasons for bullying being students' physical appearance or their real or perceived sexual orientation. Given these stats, the time for action is now. People all over the country have taken action with GLSEN. Many states have taken the initiative to stop anti-LGBTQ behavior in their communities by starting local chapters of GLSEN. State chapters, like this one in Connecticut, offer more ways to stay connected and get involved with your local community. State chapter websites are like the national websites but include resources and information specific to the area with easily accessible resources. State chapters bring GLSEN programs and visions to local communities. Although some chapters hold a small staff, most programs are run by volunteers. Anyone with interest in LGBTQ issues can become a volunteer through these programs. The Connecticut, Connecticut chapters website offers this public calendar of events to keep everyone updated on local activities. These are just a few examples of the programs that occur throughout the year. You might be wondering, what are these programs they keep talking about? Each chapter has the opportunity to offer programs that are most relevant to their particular area. Two of the major programs in the Connecticut chapter include Jumpstart and SAFE. Jumpstart is an organization run by and for high school students. Its focus is to promote the safety, inclusion, and respect of all students, regardless of sexual orientation and gender expression. Activities organized by Jumpstart are based around the philosophy that education is paramount to eliminating anti-LGBTQ behavior in local communities. Jumpstart maintains a high quality programming by holding its student leaders to a high standard. Student leaders exhibit important qualities of leadership, including knowledge, commitment to the cause, and collaborative skills. SAFE, a convenient acronym for Schools Are For Everyone, is a program designed to address anti-LGBTQ bias in schools and create change through the minds and hearts of the adults who teach and interact with children. This organization is maintained through the combined efforts of GLSEN Connecticut, the Governor's Prevention Partnership, the Anti-Defamation League, and True Colors, Inc. The objectives of this organization acknowledge that LGBTQ students are not the only ones in need of support and offers resources for teachers and other community members who work with LGBTQ youth regularly. So it looks like Connecticut is doing pretty well with supporting their LGBTQ youth. But what about us in the Midwest? Let's take a look at the statistics. Keep in mind that the data presented here pertains specifically to Wisconsin schools, but very similar figures were found for other Midwest states, including Minnesota and Michigan. Think about your experience in Wisconsin or Minnesota schools. Have you ever heard the term gay used with a negative connotation? Have you ever heard derogatory or homophobic remarks toward LGBTQ students or their lifestyle in general? If you said yes to either of these questions, you are in the same boat as nearly 100% of Wisconsin students. GLSEN conducted the National School Climate Survey in 2009. These results from Wisconsin indicate that just under 100% of Wisconsin students have heard biased and offensive language having to do with LGBTQ issues during the school day. In addition, 89% of students have heard negative language dealing specifically with gender expression. Perhaps more upsetting are these statements from the same survey. Nearly 9 of 10 LGBTQ students experienced harassment at school in the past year. Nearly two-thirds felt unsafe because of their sexual orientation. 
and nearly a third of LGBTQ students skipped at least one day of school in the past month because of safety concerns. Clearly, there is a problem. Let's find out what is being done about it. This figure from Wisconsin's portion of the National School Climate Survey shows that although most schools hire teachers who are supportive of LGBTQ students and issues, less than a fourth of schools have a comprehensive school policy concerning LGBTQ issues. Even fewer provide curriculum that is inclusive and supportive of LGBTQ students. Given the stats about harassment and safety we saw earlier, it is clear that these supports are not enough for the substantial number of LGBTQ students in our schools. We can do better. Start a GLSEN chapter. Starting a GLSEN chapter in your local area is not as tricky as you might think. It starts with you, the spark. First, congratulate yourself for being proactive and making a difference in your community. That rocks. The first step is contacting your Communications Initiatives Department through the GLSEN website. Then, round up the troops. Get a steering committee together, a group of five to eight individuals from diverse backgrounds to serve as the spearheads of your chapter. Key groups include K-12 parents, teachers, and students, of course. The Initiatives Department will assist you in filling out the paperwork and rece receiving accreditation. Then. Survey your environment. Assess your school climate by talking to administrators, teachers, and students. Knowing your audience will help direct your chapter's goals. Make sure to check out existing policies as well, so you know what you're working with. Once you're established, spread the word. Organize a meeting for the larger community to get them on board. Your chapter buddy will help you along the way too. Individual chapters have their own websites. So you can develop and make it your own unique creation. There are opportunities for financial grants and fundraising opportunities to help expand your chapter's resources. And finally, rally up those students. Work to embed your awesome GLSEN chapter into the student body and spread the word about LGBTQ respect. Together, we can work to paint respect safety, and belonging across our hallways. We can make school a place where children want to learn, grow, and be accepted for who they are. Producing a network of action will ensure that we not only talk about being inclusive, but live it every day. We thank you for listening.